Hey, what's up, folks? How is it going? So today I'm back again with one more interesting story. So as you guys know, all these stories are real stories and are based on real incidents. And I hope you will learn one or two lessons out of it. So let me start the story. So it was around evening uh, 6 p.m. And Horish was packing up his bag and he was about to leave the office. Then his manager walked in. He said, Horish, I wanted to discuss something with you. And I'm sorry that you won't be able to continue after this model gets over. You have to return back to India. So Horish was surprised. He said, yeah, I told you that after this model, after this model is over, I want to work in the next model also. So his manager said, no, because some vendor uh, deported to client that you don't have that kind of technical grip. You were asking for help. Uh, many times, so uh, client also feels that uh, you should not continue in the project, you have to return back to India, and they are going to hire someone else from this uh, vendor. So let me give you the background. Uh, like Horis works as a senior software engineer, and he is deputed to San Jose University. And he is working for one of the top Indian events, like uh, TCS and Process Web 2. I'm not naming the company. And uh, this client has outsourced work to several other vendors. It's not only like one uh, uh, service-based company, there are many other companies who have engineers working in that location. So let's say like there is another small company, STG Infotech, and uh, a couple of guys are also working uh, on the same project. So Harish became good friends with other guys, and they used to go to lunch together. So there is one guy uh, named Joseph and they became very good friends. And this guy Joseph is also from India and he is uh, uh, working from that uh, small service-based company, let's say, XTD Infotech. And he is posted there and they became very good friends and they used to go to lunch together. And uh, uh, sometimes like when Hori uh, gets stuck in some problem, he used to take help from uh, Joseph. And he was helping him out and it was going fine, there was no issue. So six months, uh, until uh, after six months, uh, this incident happened when his manager told that you have to go back to India. So then uh, he realized that, okay, uh, maybe uh, Joseph might have told to his manager that uh, uh, Oris was asking for help. Maybe he's casually told, uh, maybe he didn't have any bad intention or something. Casually, he might have told to his manager. And uh, Joseph's manager, since he's working in a uh, different but it's computers company, they're in a direct competition with them. So he might have used that information, told client that Horis, is ask, Horis was asking for help several times, etc. Uh, so he doesn't have that kind of technical grip on this uh, module. So what is the key takeaway? Or what do we learn from this uh, story? So key takeaway is if you are working in a like a project where there are uh, uh, people from different companies, computers companies, definitely you have to be uh, friendly, but you have to be cautious, like what kind of information you are going to share, what kind of a discussions you are going to have, right? Uh, whether you are going to ask too much help from them or not, right? So it should not be shown. Uh, it should not be shown. You should not be shown as a close uh, client. So you have to be careful about that. And uh, because uh, in a project when you are working, definitely you need to uh, work in a friendly manner because you are working in the same project. Your end goal is same. You have to uh, all all of you have to achieve the project's goal objective. You have to work in a collaboration mode. And sometimes you will become very good friends also with your competitors. And uh, because you're going to lunch together, maybe you are taking a uh, couple of beers together. But sometimes what happens? People open up, people loosen up, and then they may share some information, disclose something, and uh, that may backfire because that information can be used in a uh, different way. right? So that is the uh, takeaway uh, that, uh, okay, uh, what? Uh, like maintain friendly relationship, but you should know, you should know the boundary, what kind of information uh, you are going to disclose, uh, or if you are going to ask for help, how often you should ask for help, or what is that, there is, is there any other way, right? So all these things you have to uh, keep in your mind. So uh, uh, this kind of stories I keep sharing on my channel. So please like it, subscribe it, and every week I'm uh, posting uh, Tuesday and Saturday. Uh, so please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And until then, this is Abhijit signing off. Stay positive, stay awesome.